I don't know what's going on. Hey Sam. Yes. Why do chicken coops have two doors? If they had four doors, they'd be chicken sedans. Let's make one thing clear. I don't like water when it lives in the ground in large quantities. I don't like dams, I don't like reservoirs, I don't like lakes, and I hate, hate the ocean. I tend to avoid games that require me to spend large amounts of time in or around the water. With that in mind, it's time to sound the miracle horn because this week's game might just be an exception that makes me reconsider my stance on playing games with an ocean-based theme. Let's dive into the accessibility breakdown of Ocean Horn. Released originally for iOS on the 14th of November 2014, and most recently for Nintendo Switch on the 22nd of June 2017, Ocean Horn Monster of Uncharted Seas is a single player action adventure game that sees the player take control of the unnamed protagonist on an island hopping quest to find his father. It plays fantastically fluidly, with a good mixture of sword and board fantasy adventure and medium level what the heck are those robotic constructs science fiction interwoven together to tell its pleasantly written and well voiced story. With a bright colour palette and a distinctly cartoony feel, this is a welcome diversion from the gritty path a lot of fantasy has been going down. But that's not why we're here today, so let's get into Ocean Horn's accessibility features. When I started my first save file, I was immediately left with a positive impression. Not only are the voice to dialogue lines subtitled, but the subtitles use a well contrasted clear font and are on by default. And if you don't happen to speak English, or if your English isn't particularly strong, there are 11 alternative languages that you can choose from that have a fairly wide spread. If you happen to have trouble hearing certain elements over others, perhaps because you experience sensory overload, you also have the ability to individually adjust volumes for sound effects, music, and voices. It's a shame, given how much Overhorn has going for it over other games with a similar action-adventure vibe, that there are a couple of items on which it seems to fall down. The interface in general can be quite difficult to navigate, and it is obvious that it has been optimised for touch-enabled devices, and yes, I know that the Switch is a touch-enabled device, but I don't use it that way because it makes me nervous. Alongside this, the controls can feel occasionally somewhat… odd, and there's no customization feature. Having said that, as this is a port of a mobile game, I am willing to be a bit more forgiving because I know how difficult porting a game actually is. Mostly with Ocean Horn, I was pleasantly surprised to see the number of features that benefit players with ADHD and other cognitive disabilities. Each island that you visit on your journey has its own completion percentage meter, which makes it really clear not only if you've missed something, but also roughly where it was. You're also not penalised for a poor memory or the inability to pay attention, as there is functionality that allows you to re-watch cutscenes and see a log of messages and interactions. There's a lot more that I could go into, including what I refer to as the red dot of interaction, which makes it obvious what objects you can interact with, but given my time limitations, I'll just say that if you're after a good light fantasy adventure, Ocean Horn is an offering you shouldn't overlook. It's $15 and it's available on the Switch eShop, Steam, and so many more places, so please go and check it out. What? Which, as far as I'm aware, tastes like betrayal and um, 
the need for healing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm yeah. gonna eat it off camera because I'm like that. It smells like a pie. It smells. Matter. It smells like a pie. It's great. You didn't see a human hair, shut up. It tastes like a palmier. It is a palmier. Yeah. It's great. I like him. You obviously love him. <laughs> but you do. <know. laughs> it's great. Okay. Um, what did you think of him? I'd buy a bigger packet of them. You buy a bigger packet. We could have them at parties! I don't get invited to parties because I'm obnoxious. What? No. No? No. You're being sarcastic. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Give me more food. <laughs> Fine. They were really nice. And if you haven't eaten a palmier before, this would be a good palmier introductory experience because they're the size of like a cherry. So that's pretty good. There's a lot of dead space above me. Yeah, look at them. They're tiny. What? Although if you put them really close to the camera, they look really... You ate that. Mm -hmm. Stop it. You're going to ruin your appetite. We're going to film three of these. <laughs> okay, ready for the next one? Look, just there. Hang on, hang on. I can do this. Yeah. Yay. So soft, soft, soft candy soda. Soft, soft, soft candy soda. These are gonna taste like Japanese lemonade, which is called lemonade. It is really good. I better not touch that with my hands. Uh, is it is it sticky? No, it's not sticky. Oh, okay, give it. Me. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, I'm holding it. Look. Okay, now I'm just gonna. Uh. I'm back. It smelled. It smells. It smells. Oh, it smell it. Well, it smells like you. Do you want a human hand? Oh, fine. Mm. It smells like lemonade. It's good. It kind of feels like it's bubbling in my mouth. Is it soft? Oh, wow, it really is actually. Oh, it is? I thought they look really hard. hard. But it's actually wicked soft. It's soft when it gets in your mouth. Like, Give I me can't... another one. <laughs> I'll crush it in my hands. Hang on. No, you won't. I'll crush it in my human... Oh, it goes soft when it gets in your mouth. Yes. What? Oh. Yeah. See, it's a lot harder to crush. He did it off screen. Rude. He got to eat it as your reward. I like They're it They're tasty! Japanese lemonade's really nice. Um, and these candies have a great texture. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to use the M word because it's creepy. Do you know what the M word is? It kind of reminds me of blue tack. Do you know what the M? <laughs> oh, it does. Do you know what the M word is? Marvelous. Mouthfeel. 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 That's all we've got to. Don't touch me <laughs> on the freaking nose! That's all we've got time for today. This is Sam, and I am more. Bye! Bye. Me. Is that enough? What's happening? Dun 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 Crash! Ah, Savior of that one female bandicoot! Dun 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 Crash! Ah, King of the Wampa Fruit! Dun 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 He will do something and then he'll do something. He'll do a whole bunch of things because he is a bandicoot and he's called Crash. That worked out.